Outer space is referred to as the vast unknown for a good reason. We've made so many developments in the last 20 years, and still, somehow, we know so little. In the grand scheme of things, we have really only barely scratched the surface with space exploration and knowledge. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these three incredible space discoveries. NASA's $1 billion Jupiter probe sent back stunning new photos of Jupiter. When you think of the fact that we're investigating and exploring far-off places in space, how far away do you think it is? 10 million miles? 20? Try 563 million miles. This gaseous giant hasn't been one for close-up photos until pretty recently. Scientists sent a probe to Jupiter in 2015 and it will continue to orbit until at least July of 2021. Its main goal is to map the planet's magnetic and gravitational fields. But there are some pretty incredible bonuses to this. We get to see stunning photos as a result. Juno, the aircraft, flies over Jupiter's cloud tops at speeds 75 times as fast as a bullet. Flyovers, called perihoves, happen once every 54 days. Each time this is repeated, the Juno cam captures incredible photos of the planet and this information is bounced back to Earth where people around the world can download the stunning full-colour photos. Its gas world clouds are vivid and forever changing, making no two photos alike. This is all a new process, Juno being only the second long-term exploration probe after the Galileo spacecraft which orbited the planet from 1995 to 2003. Space.com states that Juno is one of NASA's three New Frontiers probes. The others are New Horizons, which flew by Pluto in 2015, and OSIRIS-REx, which is expected to fly to asteroid 101955 Bennu in 2020 to collect a sample and return it to Earth. New Frontiers was a program NASA created in 2003 for medium-sized missions that are capped at $1 billion in development and launch costs each. The Curiosity rover, by contrast, cost about $2.5 billion. It also should be noted that Juno is different because it runs on solar power. The same publication writes that Juno launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on August 5, 2011. While eight other spacecraft have flown in Jupiter's neighborhood in decades past, part of what makes Juno stand apart is its ability to generate solar power from Jupiter's neighborhood. The other spacecraft relied on nuclear power. This aircraft is accomplishing incredible discoveries and sending us back some beautiful photos while we wait. High schoolers help discover four new alien planets. Two Massachusetts high schoolers, 16-year-old Kartik Pingley and 18-year-old Jasmine Wright, have helped to discover four brand new alien planets. 2021 is already showing incredible promise for being a great year in space exploration. The two young adults were in a program called the Student Research Mentoring Program at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology which links up high school students with scientists for annually-based projects. SRMP Director Clara Souza Silva, a cosmochemist at MIT, said the following in a statement. By the end of the program, the students can say they've done active, state-of-the-art research in astrophysics. Pingley and Wright worked with Tanzu Daylan, a researcher at MIT's Institute for Astrophysics and Space Research. He is also the lead author of the paper that the two high schoolers contributed to. They made the discovery by scrutinizing observations of the sun-like star HD108236 made by TESS. TESS stands for NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. TESS hunts for alien worlds using the transit method, meaning that the satellite watches for tiny dips in a star's brightness when a planet crosses or transits across its face. Alien planets are not meant to mean planets with alien life on them. These planets are also known as exoplanets, and they are a newer development within the scientific sphere. An exoplanet is a planet that orbits a star other than our Sun. 
astronomers have now confirmed over 4,000 exoplanets, but the first one was acknowledged only in 1992. Previously, the orbit of planets around other stars had only been presumed. Space.com reports the statement that, I was very excited and very shocked, Wright said in the same statement. We knew this was the goal of Dalen's research, but to actually find a multiplanetary system and be part of the discovering team was really cool. They also share that three of the four newfound worlds are gaseous planets slightly smaller than Neptune. The fourth is a super-Earth, a rocky planet a bit larger than our own, the researchers said. All four exoplanets lie very close to HD 108236. Their orbital periods range from just under four Earth days to 19.5 Earth days. In an interview, Dalen said that our species has long been contemplating planets beyond our solar system, and with multiplanetary systems, you're kind of hitting the jackpot, he said in the same statement. The planets originated from the same disk of matter around the same star, but they ended up being different planets with different atmospheres and different climates due to their different orbits. So, we would like to understand the fundamental processes of planet formation and evolution using this planetary system. It is pretty incredible how quickly we have reached these kinds of discoveries. Fomalhaut B turns to dust. One second it's there, and then poof, it's gone. Fomalhaut B, or more formally known as Dagon, is a widely debated candidate exoplanet orbiting the A-type star, Fomalhaut. What makes this so interesting is that it is hard to tell what this thing really is. The true nature of Fomalhaut is somewhat of a mystery. It was initially defined as one of the first exoplanets to be directly imaged. It has subsequently been described as a low-mass planet whose surrounding dust cloud is entirely responsible for its detection or debris from a collision of asteroids instead. The initial discovery was made by Hubble in 2005 that saw observations published discussed the structure of Fomalhaut's massive debris belt. But more recently, the headlines don't read Exoplanet Discovery, but instead, Exoplanet apparently disappears in latest Hubble observations. Astronomers found themselves in a bizarre predicament where the planet they were studying completely disappeared while they were studying it. The planet was last seen orbiting the star Fomalhaut just 25 light-years away. HubbleSite.org says that a team of researchers from the University of Arizona believe a full-grown planet never existed in the first place. Instead, they concluded that the Hubble Space Telescope was looking at an expanding cloud of very fine dust particles from two icy bodies that smashed into each other. Hubble came along too late to witness the suspected collision, but may have captured its aftermath. In 2008, the dot that they thought was a planet had seemingly disappeared from sight. By 2014, the dot was completely gone, no dust or anything to even suggest it might have been there. The conclusion between scientists seems to be that this is caused by the planet actually being inside an icy ring encircling the star. However, the so-called planet at this point is simply an expanding debris cloud itself. Space is a mysterious place, and something new is being examined or discovered every day, but this vast unknown will always be somewhat of an unexplained mystery. But what do you make of these recent space discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.